Hey guys, so today I just wanted to tell you about the muscles that are actually pulling your back out of alignment and you might not even know about it. Now sure, you might go around thinking to yourself, you know, my tight hamstrings aren't gonna be helping me. You know, I feel stiff, I feel awkward. And yes, of course, all these things are contributing to, to your back pain there. So I'm gonna run you through the three different muscles that are actually playing the biggest role, the biggest part in stopping you from fixing your back. Okay, so you just need to understand these three things because they're often easily overlooked as being the big players or the big components here. And we can actually do some things um, pretty quickly to start overcoming these tight areas. So the first one is our, our quads here. So the front of our legs are really just tight. So they're often in balance. They're often over strength, strength in this compared to the back side of our body. So these tight quads are actually stopping and restricting your pelvis from being able to move around in different positions. So when we're tight through our quads, what it actually does is it tilts our pelvis that way. Okay, so then that actually c compresses and adds more you know, overactivity and more compression to our lower back here. Okay, so this is a big part of, of having that back under constant pressure and constant load and constant compression. <clears throat> so we need to implement a simple quad stretch that can, that can just be done very easily from anywhere. So even just grabbing your leg into a quad stretch, of course, there's many others that we can do, but you just gotta start doing something for these tight quad muscles. Okay, the second muscle that we wanna look at is then on the opposite side of our lower body, it's our hamstrings. Okay, so the hamstrings can feel tight and stiff and sore and really restricting us from the way that we move. Okay, so these hamstrings can tilt our pelvis the other way, which causes our lower back to flatten out. And what happens when our back flattens out? We're putting extra pressure on our, on our discs, okay, in our lower back. So anytime we lose our neutral spine, we're starting to get extra pressure on our discs in our lower back. So that's why it's important not to have super tight hamstrings, okay, so you're taking the load and the pressure off these discs that might have already had an injury or we don't want them to have an injury in the future. Okay, and the third one, guys, is having a super tight chest or you know a, an upper body that's causing your posture to get nice and rounded. Okay, so nice and rounded, and again, throwing you out of your neutral position, putting extra load, extra stress on your body that you don't actually need. Now, the thing about the tight chest is of course, it's easy to stretch out in a doorway or I love telling guys how you can easily just spin your palms forward and that's gonna to start to roll your shoulder back and stretch through this chest straight away. Okay, so a lot of guys come to me and they're all internally rotated, the hands are rolled in, the shoulders are rolled in. Okay, so you need to do the opposite. Have a look how you stand. If your arms are way out in front of your body, okay, like most people's are, then your weight is further forward. And the further forward your body weight is, you know, in front of your center of gravity, the harder your lower back has to work. It's simple, okay? It's just a bit of, you know, physics there. So we need to understand that our body is strongest when our joints are stacked over the top of one another, okay, in that neutral position. So the further forward our head is, the further rounded our shoulders are, this is generally all coming from the tight pecs, the tight chest, it's causing more problems, guys. So spin your palms forward, open up through the chest there, stretch out that chest in a doorway. Okay, every time you walk through a door, stretch your chest out, I tell guys. So we've got our tight chest to work on, we've got our super tight hamstrings to work on. Okay, guys, there's loads of different hamstring mobility and stretching out there. And then we've got our tight quads, tight quads here as well. But guys, if you're interested, click that big button below now, talk to one of our coaches. We can tell you all about the quads, the hamstrings, and the chest tightness, and the best ways to fix those tight parts of the body. Because you made it to the end of the video, guys, we want you to jump on a free call with one of our coaches and learn how you can do that and um, implement some of the strategies that we can share with you. It's just a free call because you've made it to the end of the video, so the invite's just for you. Guys, we look forward to seeing you on the phone really soon.